Jesus, the smartest dumb people. See, man, when you get that type of money. Because he literally sent with other people. So, like, this is a story of the best podcast in the city. Of Thank you. I'm not pandering. You know what I'm saying? And they take vocals and, you know, split and they... Me personally, I'm going to do my work. I'm going to work out 
six days a week. Again, other people reached out to me asking me to start the page back up for them to get motivated so that they can try to get back in shape, you know, in shape get healthy. Just a mindset, man. And, you know what I mean? So, how often? You said you work out six days a week? Six days a week. Yeah. How, how many hours? Uh, I want to have two hours a day. That's it? I thought you were about some ridiculous shit. Every day. Can't no, no, no. Every day. No, about an hour and a half, two hours a day. I, I, I do an hour when I go work out. Yes, I don't look like that, though, but I do an hour when I go work out. Man. I just <laughs> I go work out for an hour. I don't get those beats off. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, but uh, like you said, the end goal is that. But I will request. I want to see another challenge and see how far you're willing to push this envelope like I was talking to you before the camera was turned on. I would like to see another challenge. I don't give a fuck what's the pull-up challenge. I just want to see, because I'm tired of seeing fucking Jason on the ground. That's first thing. And I would like to see another challenge. Because if you can do a challenge that I could do, I'd probably be able to run a mile a day. I, I, I think I could accomplish that. Frank, you want to do it with me? Man, you good. <laughs> I get to it one day. Yeah, man. I keep saying that, but shit. It's hard to work yeah, out. Man. It's hard to work out, man. To me, so like I, I said, the challenge is kind of like inspiring because it's, it's watching brothers be competitive and rooting for each other at the same time. That's mm -hmm. very rare in our community. Yeah, so it's good right. to see it. So like I said, I appreciate you for doing that. This this show is all about inspiring the community and having genuine conversations. So thank you for coming through. Let's get straight to it. Starting to have a show. You already had a show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First topic: young lady at uh, Jack in the Box decided to uh, shoot at a customer. Uh, shit went down, man. Let's watch the clip. We'll be right back with you. Shot at over an argument about curly fries. That's the allegation in a lawsuit filed against Jack in the Box and an employee. The shooting happened in 2021. We had th the attorney for the family who was just shot at just released a shocking video. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live at the restaurant where it all happened, Jessica. Eric, attorney Randall Callanan has scheduled a news conference for tomorrow morning here at the Jack in the Box near Bush Airport. He tells me he recently got this video through a discovery request. The employee has already served her sentence, but in a lawsuit filed by that family from Florida, they say they want to still hold the restaurant accountable. The order a number two with curly fries after a mother and her six-year-old daughter landed in Houston. The father picked them up, placed the order at this jack-in-the-box on JFK Boulevard near Bush Airport. Fifteen minutes later, they were speeding out of the drive through trying to avoid gunfire. In just released video, employee Alania Ford seems agitated with customer Anthony Ramos. He is in the driver's seat, according to a lawsuit. His pregnant wife is in the passenger seat and their six-year-old daughter is in the back. They paid $12.99 for a combo, the lawsuit says, but didn't get the curly fries they ordered. Not even halfway into the dispute, the video shows Ford ready a gun. Minutes later, and with another employee, she throws ice and condiments through the window before firing at least twice at the family. Ford was initially charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, but pleaded guilty to a lesser charge of deadly conduct, got one year deferred adjudication, and completed it, court records show, in June. The family from Florida filed the lawsuit after the guilty plea, claiming Jack in the Box was negligent for not keeping customers safe from potentially dangerous employees. In its original answer, Jack in the Box denied all allegations, writing they have no control over or legal responsibility for a third party like Ford. Her plea also prohibits her from possessing a firearm in the future. The family and their attorney returning to the crime scene for a news conference tomorrow morning. Jessica Willie, ABC 13. All right, so that's the actual clip, man. Let's get straight to it. I think I think that's probably one of the craziest uh, interaction videos I've seen with customer service. What's your opinion, Scooter? <laughs> man, that's uh, that's that's silly, man. I don't know what this. It's never that deep, man. To pull out a gun and start shooting at people, man. It's, I think that's just absurd. I mean, I heard of the term uh, bringing the knife to a gunfight, but that was ice to a gun. Man. She was mad they threw ice at her. I guess she don't believe in the customer's right. <laughs> <laughs> the customer's always right. 
Listen, man. It's make sad, sure y'all like and share. It's sad it's because sad. it's sad because I think we living in a dark time when a woman and a customer service rep or a cashier decides to pull out a gun and shoot at a pregnant lady with her husband and they dart her in the back seat. All it takes is and this is what I'll be talking about on the show as, as well. I don't never go to ten. I, I don't have ten in my a bone in my body until it's fight or flight. And what I mean by that, nobody could ever take me to the point where they gonna have to pull a gun out of me. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I I do worry about stuff like that. I can go. I can, you can go on a, a Walmart today, on your way from home. You go on to go on to Walmart today, get in an argument with a customer, strong as shit, push them, they fall on the ground, they bump their head, they dead. So so I always think of the the result of how to. Uh, de-escalate the situation because it's so easy to get caught up in emotions and, and during COVID, I don't know what happened during COVID, but motherfuckers is vicious these days and, and everybody is wanting to kill. That lady shot at a couple that threw ketchup packs at her. Okay, she and they were in a car, she was in a building, so she there there was no physical threat that should have took her to pull out her gun, shoot. What's your opinion, Frank? I don't know, some people just don't play with it. And obviously, whether she was in a moment, she was willing to throw her life away for that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, but fact. some people at the end of the day, you can't play with. Certain shit, you know, certain words set people off and ain't no coming back for certain shit. People mm -hmm. die for less. So it, it's sad all the way around and glad nobody got hit and shit. I think the more we have videos like this and the more we talk about shit like this, it, this is what I prepare for. Like, that's why I don't. I don't get ignorant because I, first off, my logic is I know where I'm willing to take it and I ain't ready to go to jail. So, so like, I don't even play with people like I'm tougher than them. I'm more man than them. I'm more, that shit will get you killed faster than anything. Yeah. Trying to over tough yourself. I'm already uh, talking it out. Yeah. On conversation. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I seen a video. Not, on that, I seen a video not too long ago. Uh, two men got out the car. They wise in the car. It was a road rage situation, and they was about to square up. And then, like for some odd reason, they just hugged. I'm like, yeah, you tough, you tough, yeah. And I'm like, now, I don't know what happened in that moment. They both look like gorillas, so they was both big as fuck. Black, white? No, it was a, a, it was a, a Mexican dude and a black dude, but they both looked at, like built like gorillas. You, certain, it's a certain body type that you just don't want to fuck with, you know, because they got like sausage fingers. My dad is that way. He got like sausage fingers, and he's super like buff. Uh, but you can tell in that moment they was like, "Am I really, really ready to get knocked out in front of my wife?" Nah, is he worried? Nah. So they yeah, talked it out. The end of it, then they wind up hugging it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, but but that's why I'm saying this is why I don't play those type of games because first off, don't put me in a situation where I got to defend you in front of my woman. Don't put me in a situation where I wind up dying in front of my family. Like that's like you said, talk it out. Fuck. Ma'am, that ketchup ain't that important to me. Fuck y'all in this restaurant, I'm driving off. See, that's why what he said. Fuck you. What? Mm -hmm. See, and, and I think a lot of people react out of emotion versus oh, logic. Hell. You know what I mean? So when you react from emotion, that I know I had that problem for a long time. And I had anger issues, and I would react just off of my emotion based on uh, versus logic. You know what I mean? So... What made you change that way of thinking? And just being my size, man, and just uh, jumping out of my vehicle on people who having road rage, and then just really like thinking, like, bro, like you, like, you gotta stop this. You shit. jumped out the car on the motherfucker. I have, unfortunately. I, I swear to God, he I jumped out the goddamn that, car. Said, Listen, throw shit at this motherfucker. He looked like the Incredible Hulk. This like motherfucker dead. jumped out the car on my mama. I'm getting back in the car. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this nigga look like the Incredible Hulk. No, 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 I don't want. No, <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck hey. out. Listen, dog. This motherfucker. I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. You can't. Me. I, I said, no, I can't do that because then I be in this it's your size. And they go off, and they, they can be in the room, but looking at your snatch, they gonna be like, look at him. How tall are you? Six five. This motherfucker six five two ninety. Could you imagine hunking at a motherfucker in a little Toyota <laughs> and get out and this uh, motherfucker yeah. six five two ninety? Man, you like, damn. Um, man, listen, I, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of my for my pride to like fail in front of my uh, woman. I'm like, I can't do nothing. Wait, I'm cool, babe. Like this. If you want me to sit another day, only only result is shooting this man at this point, and I ain't trying to go to jail for murder. 
That road rage, that shit real it's though. Real like, you see, you see that happen in the Jack in the Box situation. I mean, it, uh, somebody said a lot of that anger comes from people that have like steel around them, like cars. It affects their brain, so oh, really? they they feel like they're a car. Like almost like they're, you know how if you stand next to a motherfucker, size matters, uh, height, size, all that matters. But when you're in a car, everybody's equal. So their mentality changed. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, somebody told me that. Go on the story, watch how you talk to people. You know, and if you can get out the situation, get out of it. Or a motherfucker with a gun going to probably pull it and use it. If I get shot over some barbecue sauce, man, listen, dog, that shit nuts. All right, so let's get to the next topic, man. But uh, let's let's see what's going on here. Lindsay said the the world is a crazy place now. The body type like Jerry's, and she gave that uh, crazy eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerry, you got some fans in here, man. All right, so let's get to the next topic. Next topic is twenty five kids. I'm sorry, about forty five kids went missing in the city of Ohio, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, in the last month and a half. They said, let's watch the clip. We'll be right back with y'all. Searching for missing children. Saturday, a missing four-year-old from Cleveland was found and is safe. In a separate incident, a missing 12-year-old from Ashtabula was found safe in Texas. And Sunday, a missing Jackson Township 16-year-old was also found and is safe tonight. But it has been three months now since anyone has seen 15-year-old Keyshawn Williams. As News 5's Bryn Caswell reports, she sat down with the Attorney General and asked him about the deficiencies in the state reporting system and how police shortages are playing a big role. It's been over 90 days since anyone has seen 15-year-old Keyshawn Williams. Saturday, the group Cleveland Missing gathered in Slavic Village, near where Williams was last seen to canvass the area. There's just not enough police officers on the streets to do this. And as law enforcement, the public is our biggest asset. And we can't do this without the public. Mary Williams says she feels her concerns on her grandson's whereabouts are falling on deaf ears, despite this latest search effort. If it's beyond that and something, the unthinkable has happened, I know that God is there. God is with him and he's protected. And wherever he is, God is. I know that. Aside from Keyshawn, According to the Ohio Attorney General's Missing Children website, in August there have been over 35 missing minors in the greater Cleveland Akron area. And so far in September, there are over 45. Local law enforcement agencies report missing children to the National Crime Information Center, which then goes to the state's website. Ohio AG Dave Yost says oftentimes there are inconsistencies, like updating reports, which departments like Cleveland Police have admitted to in the past. Are any of those numbers alarming to you? Yes, of course, of course we're worried about that. Now, what we know is when we look behind the numbers, some of those represent repeated runaways, uh, and local police have talked about that. Whether it's repeat runaways, criminal offenders, or even sexual assault evidence kit tracking, Yo says data in Ohio isn't always being entered thoroughly. All of these things have localized um, reporting problems that, again, are, are a function of local conditions. We do our best to encourage compliance and to provide assistance to remove barriers. Uh, but at the end of the day, we uh, have to rely on our local partners who we... All right, so that's the actual clip, man. And I wanted to have this conversation because you got kids? Oh, yeah. yeah, you got kids? I know you got no, kids, I mean, right? I mean. So uh, I want to have this conversation because I think we need to touch bases on how these children are becoming missing or or the ideal of them missing. And I'm going to be the first to say I think that kids are very hard-headed. I think that kids really think they know a lot because of cell phones, and they think that they can out-trick people. So, for example, my daughter went to the movies recently uh, with her little friend from school, but she wanted to go alone. She expected us to drop her off at the door and then come back. I said, no, I have to, I had her security guard, which is my girlfriend. I made sure my girlfriend sat behind them and watched them the whole time. Because like, I'm not leaving my 70 pound daughter that's 13 years old alone with no motherfucking body that I don't know first off. And I do believe in, everybody's used the sex trafficking. We can go further than sex trafficking. We can go to motherfuckers just wanting to, uh, kidnap a person and put them in the uh, basement and lock them to a fucking chair for fucking six years. We've seen it done with, with the father. He did it to his own kid. You remember that story about the woman 
uh, her dad got her pregnant, and and he wound up keeping yeah, her face. Yeah, movie. I mean, that movie, yeah, that shit. Was yeah, crazy. And, and this man did this to his oh, own man, child. That shit. So For years though, mm -hmm. in that base, yeah, that shit was a weird movie. So I, I think that we we have to. It starts with this is uh, now. I'm not saying every kid that went missing is because of parents, because I definitely don't want to. Uh, have bad karma and, and something happened to my child. Be, but I stay on her ass as much as I can because you can so easily be tricked into a situation. Yeah, that's my second worst fear, man. Yeah. Is that. My yeah. kid is one of them coming up missing or my nieces. Man, the, the only thing that was good about that video that we was watching is the community got behind. It takes a village, man. And, and there's not enough policing. There's not enough uh, security. We have to start policing well, our own. They just don't care. Hell, no, I ain't enough, man. Just don't care, man. I used to see a cop on every fucking corner. Care. I never see cops anymore. Yeah, because they be ducked off. They be ducked off. Alleyway is chilling. <laughs> Whatever they do, I don't want to say eating donuts, but I, I think they be I ducked do. off. Cause you think it's I mean, a lot of I don't think about it. Yeah. All these shoes it be, no yeah. cops around, but before that, you see them everywhere. Like, how are they not catching some of these cats that be doing all this shooting? So, so they don't care. They dust off, they need trying everything. to get through their eight-hour day or twelve-hour shift. That's how they need their jobs, though. I'm so telling you. Yeah. Has to, I mean, if crime has to be committed in order for them to keep their jobs. Yeah, exactly. Stuff, right? So I don't think I don't think policing is done by the crime rate. Because let's be honest, uh, and Cleveland is one of the worst crime uh, cities. They don't have a lot of fucking. Matter of fact, during Flint, I watched the Flint, uh, a Flint, Michigan documentary, and. The police and like they, it takes the police up to like four hours during a call, and they don't have yeah. That's, so I don't think crime rate has anything to do with the amount of police officers in that area. I think it has something to do with the taxes that the taxpayers pay. I'm like ninety percent sure of that. Mm -hmm. um, I know I sounded really smart there. So let's get to this clip. I want to talk about uh, this. That's kind of like segue to this. It's a young girl. Her mom teaches her about like talking to strangers. So they did a video to where, uh, you know, they hired some people to come in and text her daughter for a couple of days, and her daughter pulled up to the house. So I gotta see this shit. This shit's that crazy. That wasn't a boy, a little white boy. It wasn't a boy. So almost like that, uh, Chris Hansen shit. Yeah, but it they doing like the opposite. Yeah. They trying to, yeah. Okay, like I see you if said. I see it, I might have thought. Let's it was watch the clip. We'll be right back. Could have gone a lot worse. Have I not taught you any better? Mom. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, mom. This girl rode a hoverboard to a random dude's house. I'm here with the mother of Sasha. Have you talked to Sasha about not talking to people online and stuff like that? We talk about it all the time. So we made a fake profile as a 15-year-old boy. As you know, his name is Jackson. Let's text her the address and see if she'll come and meet this guy, you know? She will not meet him. Right now, she actually just texted him. Let's see what she Be there in 10 minutes, walking over now. Let's get set up. She said I'm one minute away right now. All right, so go down, go down there right now. You know who that profile was of Jackson? It was us, we made that. We wanted to test you and see if you'd actually show up. All right, so that's the actual clip, man. Let's get straight to it, man. What's your opinion on it? Wow, yeah, I'm, I'm floored. I mean, again, the, the parents are gonna have to pay for that. She was 13. Yeah, naive, yeah, naive. And Think yeah. they know everything? Yeah. Hell, my, my daughter in college, and I'm scared for her, just, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, you know, a little under two hours away, so I can only imagine shit. This shit, you know what I'm saying? You got your 13 year old going over somebody's house, and you can't even say it's the parents with most of these cases. It's just the kids, man. These kids, they want to do what they want to do yes, when sir. they want to do it. That's the problem, and I don't know if we'll ever be able to. Shit, I don't right? know what happened to me yeah. in, in most recent years, but I was just talking to my cousin about I compare my daughter to everything. Mm -hmm. 
So when I seen that little girl, all I could see was it's my daughter. Same you know what I'm saying? So, so after watching clips like this, I'm, I'm going to call my daughter. I'm going to sit down and have these conversations. But the conversations have to be had. That's what we have in now. My personal opinion, this is what I think about kids these days. They're very naive. They're, and, and cell phones made them stupid as rocks. And what I mean by that is even customers come in my store all the time and be like, uh, I got this email. Uh, do I got a package here? I said, why would UPS fucking message you? You got a package and you owe us a dollar fifty. You need to enter your card information. So common sense. This is what cell phones did to people. Common sense is no longer common. So a lot of people don't understand and can't digest the magnitude of like that little girl. She should have knew right away with somebody answering the door that's not Jackson, so to speak. I'm not going in your house. She's on a hoverboard. Little ass over here. She and shouldn't have took her up, but, but, but so many parents, and then they got all types of videos of these parents saying, oh, I'll never let, this is my child, will never do this. I will, I'm telling y'all this right now, and I'm, I'm pretty fucking smart, and I stay on my daughter's ass. I'm sure my daughter would do that. I just know because these kids, is something in their brain where they cannot. They think they grown. It, it's because cell, cell phones made them think they grown, because they're seeing nothing but adult shit all day. You can Google porn. You can fucking Google how how to cook uh, spaghetti. Like there's shit in front of them that they think the information in front of them is the world. No, there's a world that you have to learn naturally. Like kind of like uh, uh, understanding the difference between a, a plant that's grew in a, a factory and a plant that's grew in a yard. You have to sometimes go in the yard and actually feel nature, and, and that's where what builds common sense. You're not going to get common sense from a cell phone. The cell phone is actually dumbing you the fuck down. And and I'm actually in a, a, a space right now where I'm thinking about like getting rid of my, not getting rid of my cell phone because I can't, but getting rid of the hours I spend on my cell phone and start reading books and going to work out and things like that. You have to because I feel like the, the cell phone is really just dumbing people down in America. Is, uh, they're very lethargic because of it. And why like, China is teaching their kids how to fucking... Light years uh, ahead of yeah, us. Light, years light years ahead of us, and it's because of America's man. You know how many times I look over at my girl. I'm watching football, so I don't be too mad at her. And when she's into that TikTok shit, oh my god, her, I just be like, I hate it. Like it just make me, it make me mad. Somebody can be that focused on that. TikTok. I'm like, I ain't never seen a motherfucker look so determined and then swipe up to the next. Oh, my kids do it. She do it, and I'm like, I, I don't. My brain don't work. Like I just don't know. I look at my cell phone, but I can't scroll on my cell phone like this, Literally. like feeling like a zombie. I just couldn't, man. I, I mean, I, I, I really can't say nothing. Shit. You scroll on your cell phone like that? Cell phone, shit, YouTube. Are you doing them up like that? Man, I'm shit. My job be boring. Shit. Yeah. This shit gives me. Good but but did, but have you ever thought about? And I'm not telling you what to do, but have you ever thought about other options like? Like, I learned that I do need to read. Read is very uh, mm -hmm. important, man. And, yeah, and it does. I read. I got a lot of books. I need to read some shit, though, that I put some shit on my head. Yeah. It'll sharpen them up. It's an urban book. I yeah. got to get out of that shit. They got yeah. audio books yeah. and stuff. See, mm -hmm. stuff like that, I need to check out. I don't books. like, I, I think audio it's books is watch. very cheap. That is cheap. Great Listen, if I if I if I write a whole book, or do you feel like you might not pay attention as much as you actually read? I think that's that, what I'm all right. So I might not. This, this gonna sound mad. This gonna sound mad crazy, but I might I might blow your fucking mind with this. Reading opens up the imagination like no other, and what I mean by that is it teaches your brain. Like we have this 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 mechanism in our brain to where like you create. Uh, like, say for example, you read the story. You're creating the story, and you have to picture the clothes they're wearing. You have to oh, picture the settings. Reading brings something out of people that only reading can do. You can't yes. get it through audio book. You can't get it through, uh, you know, watching a movie. You have to actually, and that's what I'm learning. Like a lot of motherfuckers that don't write books. Why you didn't read that shit? You like, damn, I need to get laid down. <laughs> I mean, yeah, reading, reading definitely uh, brings something out of you that I don't think nothing could do. And, and what I mean is, like, that's why we lose losing creativity because people, like, like when you said audiobooks, that's a cheat code. Like, it's like, that's what the cell phones are and all of these devices are doing to humans is it's, it's, it's making us dumber because we don't have to work as hard. You know what I'm saying? So audiobook, to me, and this is, I'm not an expert, I'm just a regular dude. 
audio book to me is cheating the system. It's like it's like on 2K, how when kids used to play 2K, you used to have to actually go to practices, play in the games to get the numbers and be better. No, now you can just buy a, a hundred percent rating for two hundred dollars. It's cheating. So it, like it, it takes away your creativity. Even that, like when I was a kid, I used to play video games. And it wasn't even a video game. For example, I used to play uh, John Walsh. And I used to play John Walsh saying Alabama was uh, the Washington Redskins. But it wasn't really the Washington Redskins. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have creativity is brought by when your brain, you have to trigger your brain to do something that it's not supposed to do. That's why people are lacking creativity. That's why the music we listen to and, and all of the, the cadences and all that shit sound the same because nobody's creative. Like, I used to think the future was dope as fuck. Now, Designer sound like, he, huh? <laughs> you didn't like Future? I thought Future was dope as fuck at one time. I mean, What a Time to Be Alive was one of the best albums ever. That's all I went that Have you have you heard What a Time to Be Alive? Man, I can't like tell you not best album ever. One of the best albums ever. I, I, I can't that. tell you not one verse on Future. No, I think I think Drake's the goat in person. That's a whole different. Drake Drake is he. We say goat, not goat rapper. Yeah, you see, I like I said the same thing. Everything, everything. He, I mean, have you listened? Do you listen to what he says? Though? He, he, no, I'm a DM. I just want to. I'm a DM. Him him know what though. he writes himself before he gets that credit. Now, are you? But, are you one of the guys that thinks that he had a ghostwriter? No, I think he said it. Yeah, I think he said that years you ago think, that he got listen, people that right. Listen, when you, yeah. when you have five hundred, when you have five hundred, pretty sure of that. When hey, you have, somebody over here watching right now. <laughs> when you have five hundred million, Drake got a ghostwriter. When you have five hundred million dollars, you're not writing shit. I think uh, even uh, when you have five hundred million dollars, said that too. That's why he don't got a problem with a minute and somebody uh, wrote a verse for him. They too busy. When you get when you get money like that, dog, you don't sit down. That's what I said. So again, it's the cheat code, and and let's get back on this topic. It's, it's the it's the cheat code. The cheat code is the cheat code is, the cheat code is money. The cheat code is audio books. The cheat code is nobody wants to do the work. Nobody wants to read. Nobody wants to sit and consume that time. Nobody wants to imagine the, the, the settings. Nobody wants. The cheat code is money. And like I said, you crazy to think Drake sitting at home right now. Thank is you. Is it the cheat code? Thank or is it you. Just that, uh, Drake ain't got time to be doing that shit. That nigga's not sitting there harmonizing while motherfucker making a beat for him. I think some of them do though. I now, think Jay, Jay Z said he just go in that motherfucker and just go off the, just off the. Jay Z is for real, but Jay Z, the difference between Drake and Jay Z, Jay Z has a passion and a, thr a a drive for the actual art form of rap. See what? Good looking, new. So yeah, you don't think, you don't think Drizzy got the passion? I don't think it? Drake has the art form that that Jay Z does, Nas does, that Jada Kiss does. I think that Drake is just a really good singer slash rapper. Damn. And I love Drake. And that nigga has been out since 07. I think he's a great artist. Yes, bro. Like his overall, like. But I don't think he, I don't think he care about the art of it though. I think he's just he's he's just one of those people that just are he's gifted. All right, I'm not saying he's not gifted, but I don't think he cares about the art. If he did, he wouldn't be doing records with fucking Twenty One Savage. That motherfucker is terrible. You think so? Hell yeah. yeah. If if Drake I, was who. Bruh. If Drake cared about the art of rap or the art of music, he would not be doing albums with fucking 21 Savage. I ain't gonna lie. I don't listen to 21 like that, but in recent time, when I was in Vegas, long story, I had to listen to that shit. 21, kind of all right. He be saying some shit. I ain't gonna lie. Because I wasn't a fan of his shit neither. He be talking that shit. He be saying some shit, bro. I don't want nothing to do with 21 Savage. 21 Savage is... And then, like, the only thing I ever liked that he said is, like, he don't want to be in the streets. I respect that. Like, it's time for rappers to start acting like you not that. Like, okay, you that's why I respect Drake. That nigga has met. He he has been unapologetic himself. Yeah, that nigga has never tried to that's be a, a thug or. I respect. That's it. That's the. That, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say that, that was gonna be a pause moment. I'm gonna say that's the beauty of Drake because Drake. I, that's I've never. He never acted like a tough guy. 100%. You know what I'm saying? And I'm. I'm not a tough guy. I just defend myself well. I, don't I just can't get that scene off of Degrassi when he got paralyzed. When he got popped? Like, yeah, yeah, I can't get that scene out of my head. Oh, you got to see this. Scene. All right, so hey. I, I got to have this talk with, with Scooter while I got him here because they be going back and forth. 
Yes, you mentioned goat. It's time to have a goat conversation. I gotta have a goat conversation. Then we go. We gonna end the show on the sexy red video. But I want to get this out of the way first. While I got you talking about goats, um, this is gonna get a little. This is gonna get a little crazy in here because I know how you how passionate you are about LeBron. But I really need to know why do you think LeBron is the greatest of all time? Come on, oh, man, what you mean? See, and I, and I, ooh, you wrote that down to ask that man that question? Hey, God, now, I don't even, enough said, man. That's, that's Come on, man, you already know about the Don't make me find the uh, the little clipping that I was going to play for him, not play, but read it off to him, uh, uh, Parker. Jabari Parker just came out with a whole clipping about why he left the NBA. He said the NBA uh, is soft. The NBA, uh, they got... Three point shooters, I mean, players shooting threes that don't shoot threes. He said all this shit. And, and you gotta understand, this is LeBron's era. This is the player that said he left the NBA because of all of these reasons. And they were all that like soft ass choice. reasons. That He's, was his choice. He just wasn't but, that great. But no, but right. LeBron is also a part of, LeBron is also a part of the worst fucking, the worst generation when it comes to basketball. He, he but he played with Kobe. He came in oh, 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 oh don't get me wrong, motherfucking uh, oh, three. uh man, the man. motherfucking twenty two year old LeBron was a fucking beast. Man, I've never said he right. wasn't good. That's not what I'm saying. But now what LeBron is doing is he's a Hollywood actor now. He, I ain't the go. No. I ain't the go. And please don't say Jordan. Please don't say Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. So glad they're gonna add your face. First off yeah. first off, I can tell you the goats right now. The and the order. In the order, of course, you got to go with MJ. I have to. <laughs> Second, you got to go with motherfucking Kobe Bryant, All right, so Jelly Bean Bryant. You got to go. Yes. You got to go right, with Kobe, Kobe Jelly Bean Bryant because Kobe. Y'all understand? Kobe had a different wire in him. He did. He did. Like he was. He like he LeBron. I never forget the Spurs series. LeBron is is straight. I don't know. He's soft as shit. Soft as tissue. He really. What is. happened that year though? The Spurs series. When they play Miami, when they play Miami when, when he was playing. I'm Miami. talking about the Spurs series when he when he played for Cleveland. Oh shit, man. When Tim Duncan and them was tearing his ass up. I mean, he didn't have no goddamn help. He was playing with and, and, was what, and, and then oh, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. What help what help did, did Jordan or Kobe join besides Paul Gasol? What help did Kobe and Jordan join instead of their team organically happening together? Jordan, the, the, the 96 Bulls with fucking Harper on them, that organically happened. Jordan ain't go out there and recruit motherfuckers. LeBron James, in this soft-ass era, if LeBron James Dennis is really Rodman. to go... Huh? He recruited Dennis Rodman. No, that was in a documentary. I watched his stupid-ass documentary. And but Dennis Rodman was not... A superior superstar. Yes, the he was. A, he was. He was a great Stop. rebounder. Dude, that dude was a. Dennis Rodman is a Hall of Famer. And yeah. he had how many rings? But LeBron played with how many Hall of Famers when he when the, when they won the fucking championship at the Heat? Two. T Shane Batty is a Hall of Famer. You gonna bring up Shane Battier? He's, he's a Hall of Famer. He's gonna be in the Hall of Fame. Shane Battier. Listen, Shane Battier is gonna be in the Hall of Famer. Shane Battier. He's gonna be a Hall of Famer. He's gonna be a Hall of Famer. Say Chris Bosh and you say Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade. All right, those are already expected. I'm, I'm trying to find the the bullshit Hall of Famers. We know Wade and Bosh are the Hall of Famers. He still, but those, those were still the top of his class that he went and got. Said it exactly what you said. What he say? Kobe was basically a Jordan Junior. He studied his moves and dominated. That's fact. So who was the greatest of all time? Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, maybe LeBron. Maybe LeBron, because you could go with Magic. How many championships did he go to back to back to back to back? He went, I mean, you got to think, bro. That's that's almost impossible. That's unheard. It's of. very it's very impossible, but it's not it's not impossible when you're the face of the league and oh, they're going. Well, mention all them losses Jordan took. People don't want to mention that. He ain't lost no championships. He ain't game. lost no championships because he, he didn't get there. You got to so, get there. Ron was getting there. So. Eliminated. No, first round. If you're in the championship, you're, you're supposed to be the best team in the East. Man, come on, if you're in the championship, you're supposed to be the best team in the East, right? So if Jordan and them didn't make it to the championship and he lost, he was supposed to fucking lose. He what? They weren't even the East Coast champions. Oh wow, that's what we doing. You didn't like the logic. <laughs> I got you with that. Huh? Every year LeBron was in the championship, they were considered the best team on their coast. He couldn't win. How many rings he got? I don't know. I hate him. You don't hate him. I don't. I I love him as a black man. I love him as a black man. I hate him as a player. I hoop. 
I hope. All right, so listen, I want to say this too, and, and your brother might get mad at me, but I got to call him out. See, the difference between me and Twan is I actually hooped, and I was really good. And he's terrible. And yeah, he's yeah, terrible. I, I, I would beat him uh, a tier for tier. We can definitely shoot some hoops. I'm fat now, but I won't play you one-on-one, -on -one, but I'll beat you the yeah. best out of tier to shoot. But but again, that's what I'm saying. Like I, Me personally, I don't talk to people about boxing because I wasn't a boxer. You know what I'm saying? And, and when it comes to basketball, if, trust me, I'm solidified to stamp when it comes to hooping. You guys, anybody about me, when I was in my private hooping, I was one of the best hoopers out here. But I'm telling you, I watched LeBron. I watched Kobe. I watched Michael Jordan. I'm only giving Michael Jordan the title of the best player ever because of uh, his celebrity, uh, uh, his shoes. Like, he's a GOAT for multiple reasons. Now, is he the GOAT for statistics alone? Man, we talking no. about the game, no. man. No, I'm man. saying he was he was the fucking, he was the icon. Shoes. No, all right. So I hate that argument. No, 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 LeBron didn't never even put out a good shoe. Bullshit. All his shoes is good. And he built a fucking... You probably wear New Balances, too, huh? No, I don't wear New Balances. So. I wear Skechers, so... Nothing wrong with it. I, I wear Skechers. It's all about comfort. All right, I just wanted to have a go talk with you before, but let's get to this next topic so we can get up out of here. All right, Sexy Red, uh, she comes out and say that she thought it was sexy, and the best gift that was ever given to her was a, her boyfriend robbed a man for $13 and gave it to her. Let's watch the clip. We'll be right back with you. I want to be honest, the most I mentioned thing somebody did for me, it was my first boyfriend. I was just in high school. He was a little older than me. And it was Valentine's Day. I'll never forget. He robbed somebody and gave me the money and gave me the bill he stole. And it was just so sweet because he was out of breath and stuff. He's like, here, I just got this for you. I was like, oh, so sweet. Thank you. Because nobody never did nothing like that for me. He stole for me. So I'm like, oh, you did that for me, really? How old were you? I was like, 15, I was 15. Yeah, 15. That was my first boyfriend. And that's the first time somebody ever had got me a gift or tried to do something for me. And I know he didn't have it. So the fact that you still made a way and you did what you had to do, that was nice. And it was only $13. But it was nice. <laughs> and it was a fake Gucci belt. <laughs> but I was so... It was sweet. Want to be honest? The most are So anybody that know me, I'm on this... Um Please take her off the air uh, <laughs> tour. Like cancel culture, y'all cancel everything but some shit that need to be canceled. She she just made another video today talking about she coming out with lip gloss. One of her lip gloss lines. Uh, one of the flavors is gonna be nut. The other what? like just uh, uh, dog. Listen to me. It's it's almost disheartening to say. And I have to say this because she's plastered all over every social media site. She's plastered all over Instagram. She's plastered all over World Star. She's plastered all over Facebook. And I keep trying to tell people like our kids. So like I said, when I see when I when I see certain videos or, or certain movies, I, I think of my daughter. Mm -hmm. I also see that this is what my daughter is seeing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and everybody's like, well, make her turn her phone off. You can't. Like, yeah, there's a machine. Yeah. It's everywhere. Yeah. So there's a machine. Like. If the machine want you to win, and I, this is what I learned about the whole, like, you know, Amazon, not changing the subject, but I'm talking about the machine. Amazon, now, the people that sells items through Amazon, like, if you had your own clothing line, you can sell your stuff through Amazon. What they're doing is, if you go to any other company, they overprice your items, mm -hmm. and, they, and they also make sure that you don't sell. So, there is a real machine out there. And this is on a scale of entrepreneurship, huh? Know that yeah, but she's the machine. Like they're pushing, they 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 try so hard to make black women look bad. And then I know there's gonna be black women. Oh, oh, you she ain't me. And I'm like, well, what we gotta do as black people and as a black culture, we gotta start trying to cancel this motherfucker. People like that, we gotta cancel. Cause we had a problem trying to cancel NDI Reed for just saying that women shouldn't have been twerking at an ex, uh, a Essence Festival. And NDI Reed stands for the culture. She's all about the culture. Cause one of her best songs is "He Is the Truth." Yes, you know what I'm saying? So everything that she speaks is life into our community. And then when I see people like that, to me that's doing the opposite. When you talking about the most romantic thing that was ever done to you, uh, uh, somebody stole for you. That's what we're gonna push. So, man, that's why they got. That's why they got rid of that. That's where parenting come in at. You know, to make sure you give your your daughter and, and even your sons the jewels in life, and hopefully. 
They follow what you taught them. Besides that, it ain't no getting rid of that shit, man. They control everything. They everything do. from what we hear and what we see, they control it. So that's why I want to start reading again. Because, because it's parenting on and, and hope. And, and, and it's sad because and it's sad because when you see uh, somebody like her, everybody look at it like you hate. Them. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm telling y'all, and and I, I swear I feel like I'm living in a twilight zone. I know that they're pushing her in our face. Oh I know because nothing that came out this motherfucking mouth is worth a, a nothing that comes out of her mouth is worth anything to give to our community. Like when she said her lip gloss is called nut. Stop, man, that, 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 that real. So I they, swear, I'm almost, I almost, that's what they, no. that's what they, you know, no, every, everything that they get talked about, or they say, what? bad publicity is good publicity too, to them, to them stars, so, yeah. I wouldn't doubt if she says, Drake bought her a hundred thousand dollar watch, you tell me this, yeah, he bought her a hundred thousand dollar watch, and she opens up for Drake, and this is another reason why I got a problem with Drake, Drake is also a part of the agenda that is pushing her on us, which Drake earned, he earned his stripes with, with the black community, because originally motherfuckers were like, oh, I ain't fuck with that mixed motherfucker. And then he earned his stripes, doing songs with Jeezy, doing songs with Future. Drake doing know how to stay in, in, in the loop. Think about it, he get on a new artist song that's five but she, but she is the worst know. artist he ever, like, touch, like, be in his era. Is she with him? Is she under OVO? Is she, or is she, what is you know, she, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know what, uh, she, when is she, where is she from? Man. Where is she, 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 she selling? She, down south, she, she, down she south. talks from where Jackson, so, man, man, trust me, I, I have never Googled this woman a day in my life. She just, that video you see was pushed in my face, just scrolling through social media. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm I'm trying to get her away from us, like, go over there, because I know <laughs> that they're trying to ruin the image of black women. And I'm like, I got black daughter, I got black sisters, I got black friends, black female friends that I love and respect, and I don't want that image pushed on nobody black. Yeah, that was a good point. Karen, I wish What's she saying? Uh, what she saying? She's part of the community. She's still in the part of the community. She just needs, you know, some guidance. She's you not know, part of my community. She probably don't want that guidance. She's not part of my community. She's part of the motherfucking Magic City community. They ain't take her ass back to Magic City. That ain't part of our community. Man, they black. We all one in a sense, man. We just all got choices that we, some people willing to take. She just makes me not throw it in my mouth. Dog. Entertainment. I think she is just entertainment, man. And I don't think that's how she really is off the camera, me personally. Yeah, but that's that's if you're right, and and that's the problem I have. And like like I said, you could have easily on your push up challenge, you could have easily been like laughing and making jokes because I've seen you make jokes yeah, with sure. your brothers on posts and stuff like that. Sure. But you like, nah, nah, not this moment. This mm -hmm. this is this is an inspiring moment. This is a bigger moment than us being, telling jokes and, and being silly. I want to see my brothers doing push-ups and, and, and being motivated behind this. And that's why I said, like, there, there is a time and a place for those things. Like, if she was talking, chopping up with her homegirl, laughing and talking about how she got nut lip gloss, that's cool. But when you publicly saying it and you're, you're making a mockery of our culture, not our culture, you're making a mockery of hip-hop, you're making a mockery of rappers that came before you, MC Light, Queen Light Chief, I sound old as fuck and I'm getting so annoyed by saying that. But there's artists out there that really take uh, the craft serious, like Jay-Z's, like the Nas's, like the... Hell, let's be honest, Nicki Minaj is, is probably the best female rapper ever to me. Besides Rap City. Rap City kind of... No. Rap City is dope. Yeah, Rap City. Who was the best? Nicki Minaj. Minaj, yeah. Lord, have mercy. She, she might be the best lyricist. Thank y'all for coming out. Female. Good night, Female. God bless. Female? Who, who better? Nicki Minaj is always the best. I think Cardi's nicer than Nicki. She is. I think so. I mean, all time. I mean, Lauren Hill. I mean, Lauren, I mean. All right, yeah, that's the. All right, Bob, I'm also thinking of stripper air. I'm thinking of the stripper. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of the, the twerking and the Meg Thee Stallions and all that shit. But if you bring up people like that, yes, that's different. Lauren Hill is my fucking goat. Lauren Hill is. Is, uh, my Mount Rushmore is Lauren Hill, right. Hill, Erica Badu, and I'm talking about like just black women in general when it MC comes Light to was dope. Huh? MC Light was dope. MC like Beyonce. I, I, I really did love Beyonce, and That's I thought she was uh, the best artist ever. She's like Michael Jackson when it comes to like the female side, but I don't like the little demonic behavior that they display from time to time. And I don't think uh, Blue Ivy should be, she don't have to be an entertainer. Her mom is, you know what I'm saying, and I feel like when you push that, when you push that type of 
uh, agenda on your kid, it's almost like uh, fake. Like that she won. But I when like, you're because most people want to be what your, your your parents is if it's something that you consider That's fun. The feel I get her mom is the face you, of She wants the to world. just do it. Why would she not? Why would she not want to? Yeah, her dad. See her dad and mom, how everybody praise him and shit like that. I'm sure she probably. I would just want to sit at home and be a kid. I don't want. I would want my kid. If I was a billionaire, I would want my kid to be a kid. My kid is not going to be entertained. I think she's still a kid, but I mean, but they're making. They're they're also. Not, I want to say make her because I don't know their situation, but they're 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 putting her in the entertainment world and like I you know what's funny is I kind of think Kanye West kids is nuts. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think Kanye West kids is nuts. But what I do kind of like about them, they got a lot of their dad characteristics in them. Like they hate the fucking paparazzi, uh, but I think that their dad taught them that learned behavior. So with with uh, Beyonce, she already had to basically sell sex uh, to make money. What I mean by it is like. Being an entertainer is almost like being sexual. I don't want to push that agenda on my child. I want my child to be a kid. I want my kid, like if she was doing kids bops and shit like that for Nickelodeon, that's different. She's on stage with her mom with, with, you know, I, I want to get too deep into it on this panel, but that's where my head is when it comes to blue light. I'm telling you. Yeah, see, what if she wants uh, to do it? Shantae said, what if she wants to do it? That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm not judging anybody I if mean, my child wants to play basketball because I play basketball. Look at LeBron. LeBron just experienced that with his son, Bronny. I'm just saying, uh, it, with Blue Ivy, it looks pushed. That That's that's because Blue Ivy, I think when you're talented at something and you want to do it, it comes natural. Blue Ivy looks kind of like they said. She no, they like, said she, from the beginning, they said she looked like she suck at dancing. And over the times on the tour, she got better. That shows that she wants to do it. If she got better. Yeah, you might be right. I'm a stiff nigga. I don't know how to know. If I was up here, I look like a robot. She looks like she knows how to dance. In my, in my I didn't opinion. get that from, I got, I got Blue Ivy didn't dance really that good. And then think of it this way. Why they push that up on her when her parents is who they is? Hmm. I bet you Adonis what, don't be what, a rapper. It ain't for money. I bet you Adonis don't be a rapper. Adonis who is? Uh, Drake's son. You said you think he uh, will be? I, I bet you he won't be. I mean, shit. I'm you sure he's going to let Adonis do other things. But he possibly wants to be like his dad. I'm yeah, sure what he wants to emulate his dad. I'm pretty sure. My son ain't going to fucking take over the podcast. <laughs> I wish he You never know. I wish he fucking would. Listen, hey guys. You never know. Now it's time to say goodbye to all my Negro friends. And Caucasians, listen. Big scoop. Push up challenge. I can't listen, bro. I got shoulder issue. I'm fat, but I will do this because I, I want to join the challenge, but it won't be a push up. I am going to start working out starting tomorrow. I will post the video of me at the gym. No, I don't know. If my baby's sick. My girl's sick, so I don't know if we're going to the gym tomorrow. We supposed to. Are we going to the gym tomorrow, babe? Let me know. Uh, Scooter, give me your pan handle so they can find you, man. They talking about you look like. Uh, Hulk Hogan and shit up here. They want to know how they can find you. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, my name on Facebook is Jerry Freeman. My IG handle is Body by Scooter. Um, that's all I really do. On that. And what's the challenge page? Oh, Push Up Challenge. Sorry. It, oh, it's called the New Push Up Challenge. It's called the New Push Up Challenge. All right, man. You, you got to make sure you uh, drop a new challenge, man, so we can keep these people involved. Uh, cause motherfucker gonna be walking around looking like goddamn uh, Johnny Bravo with little ass legs. We don't get a leg day going up in the motherfucker. <laughs> Big Frank, give me your pad handle. Yeah, they already know how to find you. But go ahead. Man, Frank, in, you know, I ain't got a phone. Shit. You wanna get your spill? Around, shit. You wanna get your spill? I'm good. What's your spill? Shit. I'm good. What, what <laughs> you tell me? What you want? Take care of your kids. Drink. Oh some. yeah, I do be saying that shit up. Take care of y'all fucking kids, man. And drink water. Try to live right. You know, drink water. Shit. Listen, this is the smartest life. dumb people. Anthony, that dude, Johnson, Big Frank. Hey. School, school in the building. We appreciate you, team. Y'all have a great, great night. Yo, yo, what's up? At the hottest podcast in the city, the smartest dumb people. I'm here with my nigga, that dude, Johnson. You know what I'm saying? We go way back like four flats on the Cadillac. Y'all tune in every week or every time. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Do what you're supposed to do. Like, comment, share. Tell your people about it. Y'all know what it is. It's the smartest dumb people. See, man, when you get that type of money,